Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing my April favorites. I love favorites videos, and so I'm just going to dive right in because I have some really good stuff to share with you all. Okay, I said I was gonna jump right into it, but I just wanna explain something really fast. Uh, you guys are zoomed a little bit closer because the top that I'm wearing is super low cut, and I'm just like, very uncomfortable with having that on the internet. So that's why you guys are zoomed in a little bit closer than you normally are. So I guess I'll start with a cleanser. So clearly I really enjoy this cleanser. I am almost more than halfway done with it. Um, this is the 4th Ray Beauty AM to PM Gel Cleanser. I did a 4th Ray Beauty review a while back and so I will link that video down below if you wanna hear my full thoughts on this cleanser. And the reason why I like this cleanser so much is because it's very gentle and also it's easy to rinse off. I don't have to, you know, slash my face with like a ton of water in order to get it off. I find that with more like jammy gel texture cleansers, they can be a little bit hard to wash off. Even cream cleansers can be kind of difficult to wash off, but this washes off super, super easily and it makes a morning cleanse super quick and super fast, which I really appreciate. It also smells really nice. I know scent is something that I'm kind of going back and forth on right now because while I want my skincare to be enjoyable, I do recognize that fragrance is an added component to skincare that is really quite irritating on the skin in most cases. But for a cleanser, I really don't mind having fragrance in there because it's on my skin for a very short amount of time and you rinse it immediately off. It smells kind of fruity, kind of cucumbery, really refreshing though. I really, really like this cleanser. I am not sure if I will buy a like bigger size once this one runs out because I have a lot of cleansers to get through. I have my Yeast to the People cleanser. I have a Coors Greek Yogurt cleanser. Uh, what else do I have? I have more that I can't remember, but I have a lot of cleansers to get through. So I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase this. Whoa. But I will tell you that it is very affordable. So if you're looking for a great affordable cleanser, this is a really nice one. I haven't tested it taking off makeup though. So that's one thing you'll have to test on your own. But for a morning cleanse, highly recommend this one. Um, next up, we have an old favorite. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I love this and clearly... I loved it so much that I'm almost done with it, which is so exciting. I know that we have like Project Pan for makeup items where you try to use makeup items up completely, but I, I don't know if there's like an equivalent for skincare, but I'm trying to do it with my skincare, trying to use a product up in its entirety before I go and buy a new one. So this is a cleansing balm and cleansing balms are really special because they're not messy like an oil cleanser is. You put a small amount in your hands, warm it up and it creates like a, basically like an oil, like a balmy oil and you apply it all over your face to remove makeup. Then you rinse your hands off, get your hands wet with water and this cleansing balm emulsifies and rinses off really cleanly. So not only is the sensory experience of this really, really lovely because it has gorgeous like fresh sort of like I don't know how to describe it let's let's see it's like a fresh I don't know how to describe it it's just like a fresh fruity kind of scent I guess but it really does remove makeup so effectively and yet it's so gentle I have been wearing more makeup than usual because in quarantine and everything I have been playing with makeup and filming a lot more videos and I like to wear makeup in my videos so I have been sort of switching it up and using more makeup than I normally do so having a cleansing balm is so key to not taking out your eyelashes when you remove your makeup. Now the mascara that I use is the Physicians Formula Killer Curves Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Um, that one is quite a gentle mascara. It's not super uh, drying or it's not super hard to get off. It's not a waterproof formula, but I do find that if I don't use this cleansing balm, my eyelashes do fall out if I do go in with just like a normal cleanser. But this has been super key to preserving my eyelashes and making sure that they don't fall out. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. That's okay, right? That's okay. Okay, the next product that I want to talk about is a face mask. This is the Fresh Rose face mask. I talked about this in a vlog, I think, maybe a couple of vlogs, I don't know. But um, I talked about this on my channel recently and it is a beautiful mask. It is a gel texture to it. And can I just say that the packaging, even though this is the mini size, is super heavy and super luxurious feeling, which I just love. So you can see I'm almost done with it. It's just like a really beautiful gel texture. It smells like literal fresh roses. Like I'm getting a hint of it right now and it's just making me so happy. It's 
such a beautiful feminine uplifting scent i really enjoy that now i don't believe in like the amazing crazy benefits of wash off masks i just don't think they can do a lot for your skin because you have it on your skin for like maybe 20 minutes i don't know but all in all this mask is really hydrating it has a gorgeous sensory experience that i really really enjoy it really makes me happy when i use it and that is the definition of self-care something that makes you happy that makes you feel a little bit better with your mental health and so it this just really makes me happy and so i continue to use it i'm not sure if i'm going to buy it again because it is quite expensive i think there is a, a dupe for it from a korean skincare brand I haven't investigated it super closely though. Um, I'm kind of like doing a skincare no buy right now because I have a lot of skincare to get through so I'm trying not to buy new things. And I do have um, a fair number of wash off masks that I need to get through. But overall, I love this little guy. It's so, so beautiful on the skin. It feels so nice. If you're looking for a little bit of luxury in your skincare routine, this is a great place to start. Speaking of luxury, I have one makeup product to talk about and this is from Dior Makeup. Um, yeah, we all know what it looks like. I'm not going to talk about that, but it is seriously my favorite lipstick of all of April. This is, uh, I don't even know what this is called. This is the, the Diorific Coal in the color 341 Pure Topaz. So I'll give you a little swatch. Wow, I've done a makeup swatch on my channel in a long time. This feels weird. Um, but here's a little swatch for you. It's a gorgeous, like, pinky corally color it's really really gorgeous and the nice part is that although it is quite a matte formula it isn't drying which i think is weird usually matte lipsticks are quite drying on my lips but this even though it's quite matte like it doesn't have a super it's like a satin i guess it's not drying at all so i wanted to give a quick mention to this lipstick i don't know if you can still buy it at sephora i bought mine at sephora um a long 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 time ago uh, but this has really resurfaced in my makeup collection as a diehard favorite that i've been loving recently now if my lips are feeling dry i love using eye cream on my lips so the eye cream that i'm using right now is the skin food royal honey essential wrinkle corrector this is technically an eye cream i bought this when i was in korea a while ago this is a really nice eye cream but i don't really use eye cream necessarily so i've actually been using it a lot more as lip balm and there's something just really delightful about the pillowy cushiony texture that this um, eye cream has when it's applied to the lips. I'm actually, I have it on my lips right now um, underneath of a hydrating lipstick. So I think this like skincare hack can be applied to any eye cream is using it as a lip balm. I think eye creams are formulated in a much more sophisticated way than lip balms. A lot of lip balms are not super hydrating. They're very, very thick and very emollient and they I do a good job of retaining moisture to the skin. But they don't necessarily deliver hydration to the skin. They're more protective rather than, you know, hydrating. Hydrating. So I think using an eye cream is a really great way to get around that when it comes to lip balm formulations So I have been loving this like weird skincare hack that I discovered that I don't think is original because a bunch of people commented on one of my videos saying that they also use eye cream with lip balm and so i don't feel super original anymore but it is a great hack and i do recommend it if you have very dry lips however there is one lip balm that i do think is worth the money and actually worth you know buying as a lip balm and using it as a lip balm this is the uh, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I do think Bite Beauty reformulated a lot of their skincare products so I'm not sure if this is still available but it's such a thick rich emollient yet hydrating treatment for the lips that I have had this tube for such a long time. I actually have another one too. So I have two tubes in rotation that I keep in like my purse or like in my bathroom drawer. So I've been using this a lot. And it's crazy like you can use like the tiniest amount and still cover the entirety of your lips and it really goes like a long way. This is probably best to use as a nighttime lip treatment because it's very, very thick. It can be a little bit difficult to layer lip products on top of it if you don't want them slipping and sliding around, um, which is why during the daytime I prefer using like an eye cream um, instead of like a lip balm because this absorbs really fast and it doesn't have that like very slippery feeling to it whereas this lip balm is quite slippery feeling but all in all i do think that beauty has one of the best lip balms of all time and i've tried a lot of lip balms so i wanted to give a mention to this as a fantastic lip balm if you're looking for specifically a lip balm okay and then lastly something that my skin has been just drinking up is from crave beauty this is the great barrier relief and i did a crave beauty review a long time ago and then i never talked about this again because I used it all up, but I recently repurchased it and I totally remembered why I loved it so much. 
So a little bit about the ingredients in this particular product. It's formulated with tamanu oil, um, safflower oil, rosehip oil, vitamin B3, ceramides, phytosterol, and NMF. I don't really know what phytosterol is, probably gonna look that up later. Um, but the tamanu oil in this is what I wanted to talk about because I recently, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I have been getting a lot of breakouts and a lot of hyperpigmentation probably due to stress, probably due to anxiety, probably due to the fact that I can't stop touching my face. So I've been kind of dealing with that. And so in order to combat the damage to my skin barrier from using drying acne treatments and also treating the hyperpigmentation, I have been using kind of like a three pronged approach. I will use Tamanu oil and that's in this product and to help with the dryness and also to help with the hyperpigmentation. I'll also use a niacinamide serum and I'll also use a vitamin C serum. So there are like three main ingredients that I'm really focusing on in order to treat my skin right now. So if you have like dry damaged skin that you're really looking to repair, this is great for repairing the skin barrier. When my skin is getting like super, super dry and really, really finicky and my skin barrier is not functioning at its best, if I'm overusing actives or I'm overusing exfoliating treatments or anything like that, my skin barrier does get quite compromised and so using something that has super replenishing ingredients like this because the Tawana oil does have really great skin barrier strengthening properties but the ceramides in here and the NMF are really really important as well so yeah this is a fantastic woo I'm dropping everything. So yeah, this is a fantastic product to check out if you're looking for something to boost up your skin barrier and get rid of hyperpigmentation. So I had a question for you guys. How would you feel about, in addition to doing the skincare favorites and occasionally makeup favorites, I also start to work in art favorites to my favorites videos. I used to do this a lot on my channel in like 2015 or like 2016, where I would talk through like paintings that I had been really enjoying of the month, like my favorite painting of the month. And so I'm thinking about doing that again. I'm really excited about that because I have been, you know, discovering a lot of new artists lately as I'm doing a lot of research for my startup Museum of Beauty. And so, yeah, I think it could potentially be a really fun way to talk about art pieces. What do you think? This swatch is gonna get me in trouble because I'm gonna touch something white and it's going to get everywhere. As with all my favorites videos, I want you guys to comment down below with what your favorites were for the month of April. I sincerely love reading them. It makes me so happy to see people sharing their favorites with me because I really feel like we have like a little community going on, like a little community of like skincare lovers who are really into science, really into skincare and really into beauty. So yeah. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me. Have a beautiful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.